this wingtip series, we're going to be discussing the questions one should ask when considering purchasing a large area mapping drone. As professionals increasingly adopt drones for their mapping needs, and as the technology continues to advance, one of the most common mistakes I see is trying to base a decision over simplified tech specs. More specifically, I'm talking about flight time. It's as popular to mention as it is misunderstood. So how is it misunderstood? Well, for one, flight time by itself is not an independent factor. Flight time alone does not provide the whole picture of how efficiently a system collects high accuracy mapping data. In fact, it's only one of several other equally important factors. To explore this in context, let's demystify flight time a little bit by starting with the power source, which are the batteries. All things being equal, you would have more flight time with fully charged batteries, correct? Of course you would, but here's the catch. All conditions are not equal all of the time. So what conditions do affect battery life? To keep a high level view, there are tech conditions and there are operational conditions, which include environmental conditions. Leaving aerodynamics out of the technical conversation, perhaps the most obvious condition is weight. For many commercial off-the-shelf drones, weight is more or less non-variable. You have the airframe setup, including a non-swappable payload and its internal components, including the batteries. Therefore, weight is fixed. For drones with swappable payloads, a weight variance occurs due to the differences between payloads. On a given airframe, heavier payloads shorten flight time because the additional weight becomes more taxing on the batteries. Let's look at some operational conditions. All vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts, known as VTOLs, whether it's a quadcopter, a quad plane, or a fixed wing tail sitter VTOL, like the Wingtra 1, they all share two basic modes of operation hover, and cruise. VTOL drones use significantly more battery in hover mode versus cruise mode because the motors are working harder to keep the aircraft aloft and stable. Ultimately, time spent in hover shortens the flight time that you need to cruise and collect your mapping data. In part two, we're going to be covering environmental conditions and how they affect battery life and flight time as well. So, I'll see you on the next one.